What's going on everybody? I'll you after back with a brand new video. So today I wanted to be very quick uh, with a couple of n uh, information and news in reference to what's happening and what we're going to look forward to in this channel. Uh, you know, lately I haven't brought up new topics of personal credit because the systematic changes are happening and we're going through some sort of evolution. So we're going to give it a little bit of time before we start, you know, bringing on uh, brand new credit topics and start to give you guys more knowledge to digest so that you can actually be on your way to building that wealth and establishing uh, the level of wealth that you desire. Uh, so before anything, I think I wanted to position it to uh, transition of wealth, right? So today's topic is really to concentrate on the transition of wealth and some of the superior elements of how to create that wealth and what are some of the things that you need to do uh, to position yourself for that wealth transformation, right? For that transformation where you actually sit down you start to note down everything that's going to be necessary and the steps that are needed in order to give you that level of transition. Now, in times like these where it's very difficult and it's the pandemic and we're all going through some difficult challenges, you know, we ought to think about what are the next steps for income generation and wealth generation, right? We cannot just be so boggled down on what kind of credit cards we're going to get or how our credit score looks like, although those are very critical components of establishing wealth and these are the foundations and cornerstones in which you have to rely on and hopefully order to take your wealth to the next level. So my, my goal really is to give you guys a definitive answer in reference to a setup, a blueprint where you can actually start to focus on the multi-tier financial levels of your of your household and or your personal life. Uh, when I say multi-tier, I'm talking about like, okay, well, you guys have credit, but you also have other things like, okay, well, now we have to worry about income, we have to worry about wealth, we have to worry about dis disposable cash flow, you know, things that actually matter, things that move the needle for us to move forward to the direction that we have to go in order to establish that level of profound wealth. And profound wealth comes from a perspective of understanding really deep down on, you know, and, and understanding really what the elements of profound wealth looks like and really concentrating on the aspects of, you know, generating that profound wealth, concentrating on the aspects of looking at a perspective of income that you can generate that you've never done before and in moving up that needle in your household of wealth establishment, right? So what is that blueprint that I'm talking about? How, how do we, how do we, you know, start to concentrate on the things that actually matter? Because remember, this channel is personal credit, financial transformation, and wealth building, right? Now, in that respect, in that exact order, I'm going to give you guys a series of videos in the future that you can look at and I'm going to start to put more content around personal financial transformation, which is very critical an aspect of building wealth and keeping and maintaining proper credit scores. And then ultimately tying down, down into wealth building and some of the elements of wealth building that we should all concentrate on and be focused on because that's where the future should be for you. Not necessarily going down in you know, a bunch of circles and, and just working on personal credit matters uh, that are not actually getting you any, any type of outcomes or results because end result is... You're so concentrated on the elements of personal credit running around how you can fix your credit score that you don't look at the bigger picture that you're not concentrating on the things that would give you the optimal results in your future so with all that said and done let's look at that perspective let's understand you know what is the blueprint that we need to follow the first step you need to do is to be accountable to your monthly budget now as basic as that sounds and as boring as that may sound it's important to do that because if you don't concentrate on that, that means you have no financial discipline, right? So financial discipline is a context in which you guys come together. You know, you have this this level of wealth and, and this information of the type of expenses you go through every month, the type of income that you bring in, and, and financial engineering that in an Excel spreadsheet or some sort of a, you know accounting tracker, monthly expense tracker that you can look at and feel compelled to understand well, what's the what's the next assignment on this tracker how do we fix this what are some of the things that we need to move around get rid of and or modify to enhance the value of this of this you know financial statement every month so you know being that it's personal financial statement and not necessarily business you have quite a little bit of flexibility there and you can actually get away with a few things uh, but I want you to treat your personal financial statement as though it was a balance sheet on a business level, right? Because the more you do so, what happens is you actually build a level of discipline and, and follow that, you know, financial politeness towards your, your wealth uh, that establishes that profound blueprint for you down the road. And you stick to that blueprint and you'll be able to, you know, enhance it over time. And you're going to start seeing massive improvements that will automatically increase the viability of your wealth. Uh, and it'll put you in a different pedestal quite frequently, right? 
And the reason I say that it's because a lot of people who come, who don't do this, and you know, I think over ninety percent of the people in the world don't do this, is especially in the United States, is because a it, it requires a certain level of financial commitment as well, because now you have to move around money to the areas that you might not be comfortable like in the past, like a savings and or insurance and so on and so forth. But also it establishes a commitment of discipline. And that discipline is actually help you to, let's say if you move forward at a certain level in your life and you start to come to a realization that, oh man, I actually stick to the plan. I know how to re-engineer my budget. I know how to work this magic. What happens is if you were to, let's say, take on this knowledge and your habits that you built over time to a business environment, you automatically find yourself in a situation where you actually have a lot more, uh, you know, discipline in that business area. Because what you would do personally, you are commandeering the ship in a business, it'll translate really, really well. And I think you'd be quite happy with it because that's the outcome that you're going to create and generate for yourself, uh, which will ultimately help you establish significantly more wealth than if you were to just stick to a, a small financial commitment and a game plan that doesn't really equate to anything significant. So those are some of the things that you really need to you know, moves forward with. Uh, and that's the first step really to establishing that personal transformation is to hold yourself accountable to a monthly tracker and or blueprint or budget. And then take the time every month, maybe a couple of days before the end of the month to sit down and say, well, what are some of the areas that we can tweak, modify, remove, et cetera, et cetera. And you don't have to do a massive transformation at the same time all at once. You just have to do it gradually, right? Do you one bit of improvement every single time leads to a massive improvement over overall. Uh, just concentrate on that and, and have some sort of mental discipline to do that and commit to doing it because if you don't, nobody else will and you have no reason as to then blame society and or whatever the case aside yourself because you haven't taken the steps. This level of discipline will not only help you look at your financial situation but also assess the areas in your personal credit that you might strategically be able to tackle because now you have free cash flow that is aligned towards that level of goal of building and establishing stronger personal credit profile. But at the, at the same, because you've done so, now you can start to trickle that down to the wealth building aspect, which by the way, we're gonna add a lot more videos to that for you guys. And I'm gonna give you different angles in which to tackle it because there is thousands of videos on the internet, especially YouTube, that describe wealth building and so many different mechanics of wealth building. Very few actually know how to execute that. Very few know how to bring it down to the level where I can see you guys starting at a certain level and I'm not assuming that you're gonna be able to do this because there's a level of education that's required through that process. And I'm willing to commit to making sure that you guys actually go through those stages because there's a lot of amazing things out there. But, but the only thing that's stopping you from reaching that level is to go through that level of transformation. It's to actually go through the level of proper etiquette and establishing your financial journey. Because a lot of people don't follow that protocol and they automatically assume that, oh, you watch my video, you'll know exactly what it is that you have to do. And the reality is there are certain steps that need to be respected to reach that goal of wealth. So for the time being, let's cop, you know, let's let's concentrate and cope with the aspect of the financial transformational elements, starting with your monthly track grant or budget planner, so that with this as a, as a guideline, right, we can start to move forward with, okay, well, now let's talk about wealth building. Let's talk about the elements of wealth building. What are some of the components of that wealth building element that I really need to pay attention to? in order to benefit myself and those around me so that I can establish myself higher at a higher capacity and do more things that I would have desired to do in the first place, but just simply couldn't due to the fact that I'm incapacitated because my financial creation of aspects of wealth and the aspect of creation of proper credit and the aspect of creation of additional income is not there. And I'm lacking you know, such things and that I need to concentrate on, on establishing and building those things prior to me jumping into the wealth building journey. So I just wanted to shoot out this real quick video, let you guys know as to why there weren't any personal credit level videos. I could have done a couple, but then it would be redundant information that you would have seen outside. Although my angle of teaching is very unique. I know that you guys have said that very, very clearly to me, but the goal is not to beat you down with redundancy. It's to give you information, to give you the clarity in certain areas that perhaps others are not covering very clearly. And, you know, that's it. You know, if you're looking for clarity, if you're looking for real level credit education, financial transformation, and ultimately the actual proven blueprint of building wealth a step at a time, or even if you want to accelerate, there are programs out there that we can discuss in the future. But the goal is you need to have something that you can do that's reliable, that's not redundant, and you can trust the process. And that's really what I want for you guys here at this channel. And I'm sure you can appreciate that because I appreciate you guys the most. So with that said, I don't want to keep it too long. 
uh, if you're interested again in leveling up your personal credit knowledge you guys already know the ultimate personal credit mastery 3.0 it's a very enhanced personal credit journey course it has some assignments in there that helps you start to build that that foundation of personal financial transformation but also helps you through a very massive step towards personal credit and helping you reach that journey of successful personal credit and have a higher score so that you can do the financial transactions that you've been meaning to do because your lack of credit wouldn't otherwise be able to help you, right? And with that said, if you haven't joined the YouTube Insider channel members, I got a couple of videos that I'm going to be putting up this month uh, right now. And of course, I'm working on a couple of live streams that's going to be private for channel members only. I'm going to do two a month. I'm going to commit to that one is going to be mid-month and one's going to be by the end. Uh, I'm going to also have a regular live stream that's going to be coming up this month for you guys so that we can discuss a couple more personal credit topics about financial transformation. I'll give you some tools, even a, a monthly tracker that I've built to make it easier for you uh, that I'll be adding to that live stream. So be sure to keep a notice out on this channel. Make sure that you turned the notifications on to all if you subscribed. And also at the same, you know, feel free to join the channel membership so that you can benefit from the inside videos that I got in there just for channel members only. And with that said, if you really liked the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you smashed that thumbs up for me. This way, what happens is YouTube algorithm sees that you guys are enjoying the content, interacting with me, and it'll push it to other individuals such as yourself who would ultimately benefit from the same knowledge you guys are getting as well. And I greatly appreciate that deep down. And with that said, this is definitely your guide and mentor, Oli Tarafter. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.